All right, we're back again. I gotta make a game in one hour. Everything has to be either something that I made or found for free online. Um, today, we've got our first, uh, the first 3D game that I've made in this series. Uh, it's gonna be golf based, so let's ha see how that goes. Um, and three, two, one, let's go. Okay, right, so the first thing I'm gonna do is, um, uh, 3D builder. Wow, so good at opening things. Right. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna get a big old cube. I'm gonna turn it into like four hundred. Eight hundred. Make it six hundred. Okay, cool. So that works. Uh, and now I'm going to get some cylinders. I'm going to make them just a little bit taller. Bring up. I have no idea why that's in. Um, cool, that's good. Um, let's make them. Um, wait, which direction is the. This is the way. Okay. We're going to make them. Um, oh. Spread them out a bit. Oh my god, why? Okay, now we're going to change the width for this one. We're going to make, uh, let's make it 50. No, sorry, let's make it 60. So 60? Yeah, that distance, let's make it a bit bigger. 70. This should not be the difficult part. This one's going to stay the same as it is. This one's going to go be a fat one in the middle. Interesting. I hate the way the controls in this thing work. Um, it's gone off. Cool. Um, we're going to make this uh, 70. 70. Oh my god, this should not be this hard. Um, I'm gonna go 50. 50. I'm gonna put this one over here. I'm just gonna stay the same size. I'm gonna go next. All of these. And. Oh, okay. Okay, we have to do them one at a time, I guess. I'm just gonna. Nope. Opposite of that, subtract. Uh, then, because I don't actually know. Um, okay, we'll just make everything green then. That's green, sure. Um, all right, cool. So that's uh. This is stopped at three minutes. Why? Ah oh, no. Okay. How long are we in? Okay. I've got a real quick uh turn off global art keys because shit that's annoying. Right, um save that as assets um of course. There we go. Just I'll have to work out how long that was later. Um okay, cool. So if we slap that okay, if we check this first. 
Can you see not use F3MF goggles? Okay, cool. Save it as VGA. Yeah, okay, we can't do that. We can do this. Okay, well that's huge, which is to be fair, what I wanted. Um, um other way. Cool. Um and the camera is currently just looking at holes. So that's not ideal. Just let's just chuck a cube and just make it like really tall. Cool, right, that is. Wait, did I move this? No. I don't know, 400 was it? There we go. Okay, this is enormous. Uh, probably too big. Um, make a quick material. Anyone else? I'm just going to... Doesn't really matter. Yeah, I don't really know what I'm going to do about that. Oh, well, right. Um, So uh, let's make a little sphere ball and attach the camera to the ball and let's uh, bring the ball around. Nope, wrong axis. <laughs> okay, cool. Um, and then this pole, uh, we're going to just get rid of that. Where's the ball? Oh my god, the ball's so small. Okay, cool. So now we're going to create a cube. Um, I don't want to see. Because why not? Put a hundred up. And then give it a ten. Ten. Let's bring it down a little bit. And let's just make it. And we'll just bring it Oop. there back a little bit. Um. Yes, I'm making material called brown hashed. <laughs> the goal was just for it to be brown. Um, and then we go here, and you go sort of here, and that's good. And then we'll get the T brownness. Um, and not as shiny. 
Um, cool. Now the camera. Maybe it's all to the noise. Dirty. No, dirty. And a little bit higher. Okay, cool. So then I'm gonna take um, no, just these two. And just bring them down a bit. So about there. Okay, so uh I'm also going to put, wait, can I? Hmm. I'll just use a cube. Uh, <laughs> What have, I, what have I got? Right, there we go. I don't know why I had that specific tool active. Um, I must have hit one of the hotkeys. All right, and then we're going to put that at 45. Yeah, uh, we'll go 30. 20? Yeah, that'll do. Um, and then we're going to make that, I guess. Ten wide, twenty wide. Uh, yeah, we want to make no. Don't show it in Explorer. Let's make another material. I'm gonna call this ramp because this is a tiny ramp. Uh, what color should the ramp be? Let's just make it sort of gray. Uh, we'll make this one. Yeah, we'll leave this one as shiny. Um, okay, cool. Right, now that that's all sorted, let's uh, actually work out what we're doing with the ball. First of all, these all have colliders. That has a... That has no collider. Can I add anything to this? I had a mesh collider 2D parent object. Okay, no, not really. Let's add a mesh collider. Bam. I think. Ah, what am I? There we go. I'm just going to assume that that's worked because I can't actually see. All right, what am I doing? What am I doing? Excellent question. What am I doing? We're over 10 minutes in and I've lost track of what I was up to. Oh yeah, of course. This uh does this need a rigid body? I think it does. The ball definitely does. But not a 2D one for once. Uh, it does actually need to use gravity. So that's something cool. Right, now we're gonna make Finally we're getting to the scripting. All behavior. Okay, so, um, uh, oh, yeah. Um, 
Doing anything else? Shoot! I really think so. Um, I'll be. Uh, right, so. Fixed update, right, so what we're going to do is, um, no, the, um, add one, and the, and the, the, Okay, right, so we want to check if it is, so, um, thing, else we do another thing. If so, I mean, basically, um, um, right, so. If it's not charging, then uh, it is charging. True. Uh, and charge time. Plus equals go down for time. All right. Um, and if it is charging. Yes. Um, yeah, that's what I wanted. Um, what's the word for when you like shoot and go, fuck it, and shoot now, even if it's not the correct one? Um, it's charging equals false. And. Um, shoot and also charge time equals zero. That's only if they're holding it down. M one. Else. If it's charging, um, then because if they're not holding it down, but it had been charging, that means they've released it and they're taking a shot. Okay, so shoot is um, force equals um. Charge time times acceleration. And then 
go. Um, the dot at force what is force mode hmm. um what the fuck Direction is forward. Okay, so we want to fire on the negative z-axis. So it forces minus one. Okay. So... Will that work? Let's see. Um, add the actual ball script in there. Um, we won't worry about that. So acceleration, we're going to make one. Max charging time, we'll make five. Um, so get out of the way. We start this running. And I hold that down and then bam. We it rolls. It shouldn't. I mean it, it should, but like the camera should say steady. I might need to adjust the way that's done. Uh right, let's try again. And let's just hold it down. Oh, it doesn't actually shoot unless you release oh, I've done something wrong. We okay, that's not good. Right, let's try again. Okay, had a little bit more force there. Um, let's increase the acceleration quite a lot. Hey. This is sickening, but we are playing golf, sort of. Where the fuck is the ball? It's gone way over. Okay, that's not good. Uh, I should add some gigantic, I guess, uh, colliders to stop that. All right, if I... Make it so it can't rotate. Is that going to fuck it up? And bam. Funk. Okay, it's stuck in there. It's pretty stuck in there. Wait, do you reckon that was a result of the force being applied? And we okay. It's straight up. It, it went straight through that. Um. Okay. Right, on this rigid body, continuous collision detection, because uh, apparently this fucker can face through walls. Oh my god, I'm wasting so much time on this. Bam. Hey, there we go. As he, he's 
He's sort of fallen part way down the hole. Okay. Can we make it bouncier? I don't know how to make it bouncier. Okay. We have a ball that moves. Um, that's the important bit. I don't know why. So if charging time is bigger than max charging time. Oh, I said charge time. Sorry, that's why. If we do that, then just holding on to it will give us. will actually work. What? Is that still not working? I think making it so it can't rotate is um, probably part of the issue with it. So max charging time is five seconds. So if I hold it for five seconds, it should trigger, right? It does. This is sickening. But it does now fall to the bottom of the hole, which is important. Okay, cool. So uh, we're going to have to remove the main camera from here. Um, we need a new script. Camera, follow. I'm, su I'm not surprised by this development, but hey. <clears throat> um. Right. Uh, we need a public. Um. Transform target. And a public vector three and an offset. And then just a uh, fixed update. Um, Nesting transform dot position target dot position plus. Offset. Cool. So. What's the difference? Bulls at 63.5. Cameras at. What's it called? Cameras. Oh, yeah. Uh, so, first of all, you're following the ball. And the offset is what, like, 20 and 10? Alright, let's see if that works. Camera should jump a little bit. Okay. Um, minus 10. No, that's wrong. Oh, I'm sorry, it's 7, not 20. Christ, I'm dumb. Um, Alright, so the camera would jump a little bit. But we should now be able to boink. Hey, hey. And now we're golfing. Uh, I'm not sure I like this whole... Like... And it's very slow, the application of the force. So I might just... Uh, 
Yeah, it's very slow. It's meant to be like bang. Right. Okay. Back to here first of all. Let's see, of course. So charge time is greater than or equal to max charge time. Then you shoot. So why is it coming out so low? I don't know, and I don't care. Maybe the... that explosive force. No, so that's not what we wanted. Um, maybe I just need to increase the force. I don't know. Um, let's make acceleration. <laughs> Now, yeah, see, it's still, it's still accelerating gradually. It's not. Bam, we, and that goes off into the distance. Cool. Um. Start doing engagement. By the way, is that? Um, okay, right, let's think. What are we doing? What are we doing? Um, we could just add that as speed, but, like, then I have to... What the force mode is for. Instant force using. There we go. We, we right. Okay. Cool. Um, we straight up just need impulse. Cool. Force mode dot impulse. There we. It was just nice and simple. That's what the documentation is for. And we probably want to bring that back down a tad. Alright, we're over halfway. I haven't even got to, like, aiming yet. And bam! There we go! Fucking Christ, that's a long way. Um, okay, let's maybe bring acceleration back down again. And bam! Okay. This ball goes pretty fast, it turns out. Um, 0.5? Okay, whatever. Tuning that this is fine. Um, I'm now going to add, um, fuck it, to the ball itself, why not, um, a, just gonna add a little cylinder, and we're gonna make it nice and small. Where's it gone? Too small. And we're going to bring it uh, forward slightly. Nope. Forward slightly. Get this shit out of here. 
and we're going to rotate it around the x-axis degrees forward a bit more first of all we're going to remove that collider and then we're going to have a new material um indicator i'm sure i've misspelled that i didn't really look into it okay bam this just shows the direction that you're pointed in at the moment uh, might make it so that later change your size as you need to. Okay, so um, back to ball behavior. Right, we're going to take all of this. Right. Oh yeah, also I should have a um load um chance. Sure. And as soon as shoot is called. Um, and then all of this only happens on um, not. Otherwise, oh, I called it a float for some reason. I'll explain why I wasn't happy. And um, so calculate power. Uh, and then we're going to have another one. Aim. And before calculate power because calculate power is the one that shoots. Okay, um I'm gonna get um power um and move input dot get I forget. Um, Ember Manager, there we go. Axes. Mouse X, cool. That was. Um, and then we're going to have, uh, equals, um, move, So do you know the other? Rotation's on the y-axis now, isn't it? So we want... Okay. Transform dot rotation. That's a quaternion. Ugh. Uh, how do you add? Uh, no. Rotate around Select. 
three dot up. Yep. Um, see, so much easier when you just ignore it all. See, that's fine. Um, it's deprecated. This one dot rotate. Okay, cool. So it's the it's the same, just slightly different. Okay, uh blah, 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 blah. right, now what? We need to put constraints on this, do we? I mean we would if we were doing something sensible, but we're not, so um So it is rotating a little bit, so uh, we also need to have um, mouse speed Uh, let's make mouse speed a hundred based on how slowly that was moving. Yeah, that seems pretty reasonable, actually. Actually, right. So this rotates the ball. So if I do it now, boink. Let's charge that power. And bam. Why did that not go? Why? Let's put the acceleration back up so we can see what's happening. Okay, it's still going forwards. Um... Relative force, I think, is what we want. No, I don't think it's... Oh, Jesus Christ. Uh, there's not much time left. Still got to have it so you score points. And... Bam. Nope. That's wrong. And, well, there we go. We can get rid of that minus one. Hey, hey, we can now aim the ball. Cool. Um, right, uh, we're going to have a button <laughs> reset. Because this one's actually going to be quite important. Yeah, it's one of the DMP essentials. All right, up. Um, right. Control, shift. I don't I don't know where I'm putting this. Oh, I get I start to get it. Okay. Why is it not moving? You go. Reset. I should probably specify that it's resetting the ball. Um, fuck it, let's make it like yellow. Um, cool. 
Cool. Now on the ball, you're gonna have right avoid reset ball, um, which is gonna be uh, you dot velocity is zero, um, and then uh, transform dot rotation that equals identity and transform position bouncing location and I'm also going to be that's been shown as false as charging is false and charge time zero anything else needs to be redone max charge time has to be yeah all of that's good okay cool so now we go back into here and we add the ball go to the ball and we reset it let's see if that works and bam wow that's gone really badly let's try again okay it's still moving that's not perfect um Uh, maybe? I don't know, that sounds... Inertia tensor sounds like the kind of thing that this could be talking about. Boink. Reset ball. Nope. Also... Rotate and up um, one hundred and eighty. Go for that, friends. Is harder than I thought. And bam. Bam. Cool. Right. Um, that's not very far. So we'll quadruple the shot. The, the, the acceleration on that. Just a it's just a force multiplier, really. How do I? Oh, 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 oh! Yeah, that's probably about the right level. All right, cool. So let's. I I should have set reset ball. Um. Right, let's aim for that, right? Let's try and hit the really far one. Get a maximum power. Ooh, are we gonna do it? 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 Yes! Then reset ball, and it spins. <laughs> it still spins. Bam. Okay. Well, that's not the worst thing in the world. Right. Okay. 
Excellent. Now we just need that. Now we just need to make it so you can score. So we're gonna make a cylinder. We're not gonna make a cylinder. We're gonna add in a cylinder, um, which is just gonna be called hole. And naturally, it gets its own material hole. So hole can look like hole. The hole material. Which is going to be black. Um, and then it's going to be fucking enormous. Okay, I'll be honest, when I said enormous, I sort of meant bigger than that. Maybe not that big, we'll see. Um, it's got a capsule collider, which I think is a bad idea. What kind of collider do we want? Okay, let's make it a mesh collider. Um, we'll make sure it's convex. Um, <clears throat> just in case. Cool. Now we'll bring this down and pop it into the central hole. See, it doesn't matter if it's way too big for the hole. It's going to make it bigger. Bigger. There we go. Cool. Um, right. Yeah, now we need... Wait, no. We'll, the, the hole doesn't do anything. We'll just tag the hole. Uh, we'll, we'll add a tag. Uh, for target. So we'll just tag the hole as a target, and then the ball um, as void on collision enter. Um, collision dot game object. Yeah. Tag. Yeah, tag is um is target capitalized or not? Yes, it was. Tags, such a good system. If it's uh target, then uh we start. Have a look. Ah, uh, the ball does need to have some properties. Um, score. That's that's got to be an int. Score. New script. Um. Target. Oof, I'm getting lazy. Yeah. Shit. Ten minutes. Okay, well, less than 10 minutes because of the fuck up at the start, but we're just going to slam target into this hole. Yep, I know how that sounds. Um, and all it's going to be is a public int uh, score. Is there another way I could have done that? Maybe. Um, oh, wait, no, I then need to go back onto here. And say, um, this dot, not comma, dot score, that's equals, um, go dot get target dot score. Cool, so now the holes can have different values. 
and then the whole is going to become a preverb and we're just going to go wham bam that's actually really convenient thank you nope that's a material uh man this one is going to be one point this one's going to be two points this one's going to be two points this one's going to be three points and i think this one should probably be five points um just to make things interesting you know um okay and now we need to add something to the canvas that back up a bit and um, we need to add some text score marker Uh, it's going to be bright red. Oh, that's awful. Uh, we're going to give it an outline. We're going to make it bigger. It, let's make it pink. Okay, cool. And now this is going to have um, ba -ba -da -ba 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 -ba. all behavior. Yes, it has a DMP next. Then, um, score text, text equals plus, um, the store score. Cool. Uh, that's nice and straightforward. Confirm that that works. Why is it? Okay, I sort of hoped that it, you know what, fuck it, reset the ball. Oh, this is taking fucking forever. Let's retry. Chris, I've got stuff to do. I've got places to be. Ah, uh, that's a lie. Oh, come on. There we go. Bam. Is it going to go in? Oh, shit. Have I overshot? No, 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 no. Damn it! There we go. God. Testing whether this can get points is genuinely more annoying. Which probably isn't a good sign for the game, let's be real. Oh, 
Oh, there's the unconditioned enter. Huh? I haven't actually connected it to Scott Text. Okay. Wow, now I'm even more annoyed. Um, ba -ba -da -ba -ba. Bam, there we go. Christ. All right, and go. There we go. We boink, yay, and then wow. This is a deeply stupid game. All right, but all of that works. So now I'm going to get, uh, let's put audio in. Audio source. As I'd asked to get on. Here it is. Cool. Don't care. Thwack! <laughs> That's stupid. Thwack! No, I'm doing that again. Quack! 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 This is clearly the best. Uh, just export as an MP3. To... Uh, uh, go without friends, assets. Uh, whack. I'm going to see if I can even get um, some music. That would be absolutely wild. Uh, whack. I want to wake. No. Okay, so um, the ball also has... Jesus Christ. Uh, public audio source, not audio settings. Source, yes. Oh, not as. Yes. When we shoot we need this dot play. Yeah, it occurs to me now that adding and um, trying to considering even putting music in this is crazy ambitious. Right, okay. Let's check. Does it work? Whack. Yes, it does. There we go. Uh we're gonna stop that. Um it's Probably slightly over an hour in total, because again, we had a problem with the timer. I'll work it out one day, I promise. Um, but this is what we've got. A terrible, genuinely terrible golfing game that technically functions. And that's all we need. Um, so, there we go.